guys, so before this video starts, I just wanted to extend a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring it. And if you want to find out more about Squarespace, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where I will develop further. Right, so, Michaelmas term is done. I have completed my first term at Oxford University. But the question is, how was it? That is the question. So, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, lighting is not cute right now. Really not ideal. But backdrop's cute, so that's fine. I'm looking v dishevelled v tired because I've just done a nine week term here at Oxford and nine weeks does not sound like a long time and it hasn't felt like a long time but my body is telling me right now that it is in fact a long time. But today I wanted to do a recap video of my term and how I found it, how it was and just a yeah, basically, how was it? And what did I like, what did I not like? And also to talk a bit about my report, so like, academically, how I'm doing, because loads of you wanted to know that when I asked on Twitter, so I have the reports saved on my phone, and I will tell you. I'll do that first, actually, because I think that's probably why a lot of you are watching, so. I just filmed a five minute clip and honestly it was just such waffle. Uh, I think being here has now made me really, really consider how well structured my arguments are because that was just not structured at all. So basically I'm going to give a very, very brief summary of how my exam works this year. I study modern languages and we have what's called prelims in first year. They don't count for anything, they're just basically a brief introduction to all of the areas that we might like to study in second and fourth year. Third year is a year abroad. But what we do in second and fourth year is called final honour schools, which is basically what counts for your degree. So your exams at the end of fourth year, which will cover second and fourth year content, counts for your degree. But this year does not count at all. And what happens this year is that you don't get a first, second, third fail per se. It's literally fail under 40%. Over 40% is a pass, and if you get over 70%, you get a distinction, which means that you get a scholar's gown, and like you've basically got first, essentially. So that is how it works. Okay, that is a way quicker summary <laughs> than what I was doing before. So I don't really, like, some, some subjects, they just have one tutor. I have a lot of different people teaching me because I do languages, so I have, like, uh, grammar teachers, speaking teachers, I have my two like main tutors, I have translation tutors, like I have loads. So I'm not going to sit here and go through each report because a lot, they all just say basically the same thing. So I'm basically going to summarise and tell you what is going on. So it's not very rare, not very rare, not very common at all for anyone to get a first in their first term because that would just be like insane. Basically, from what I have gathered, from what my tutor has told me personally, and from what is on my report, is that I'm working at a solid high-ish 2-1. So like, a solid happy 2-1. And the general consensus from my tutor is that she wants me to get a first this year, which is <laughs> so ironic, because I... Okay, it's ironic for this reason. Basically, I worked so hard at A-level and I worked so hard at GCSE and I sacrificed a lot of things like socially and like love life wise and just like fun wise to get into Oxford, right? The aim from like year seven has always been to go to Oxford and then I kind of got that aim and I was like, right, well, I don't really want to do a PhD. I'm not really planning on progressing academically. So realistically from Oxford, all I would need is a solid 2-1 which I don't need to worry about till fourth year anyway. So I'm going to enjoy myself and make up for all of the lost time that I had. Like I've not worked this hard to get into Oxford, to not make the most of it and enjoy myself and stop worrying about being the best at everything and just enjoying the process, right? So my philosophy this term was to enjoy myself and go out and do things and meet new people and see new friends and just everything, but get my work done. And if it wasn't great, that's fine. I'm quite happy with just passing this year. So I am very, very pleasantly surprised at the fact that although I've been going out and I've been like going to the club and seeing all my friends and making new friends and like trying out new things, I've still managed to do like a high two one and like everybody was really, really, really positive. Like all of my report was like, yeah, you're doing really, really well. Keep it up. Fantastic. Like really push yourself, stretch yourself next term. And like my tutor was basically like, you need to be a bit more competitive. You need to sort of push yourself a bit more. And I was like, right, 
but like that's all I've done all my life and I'm trying to have a break from that and it's quite ironic that that has always come from myself I've always tried to push myself a bit more and no one's ever told me to push myself I just do it naturally so the second that I've finally got my body into the rhythm of just like not being an aggressive perfectionist now everyone else is like hey come on like you can do this like you should aim higher and now i'm like do i want a first this year maybe i do i don't know i can't decide like ah uh. i am actually thinking though rather optimistically that from this term it is definitely possible to do really well in your studies here and also have a lot of fun so i'm thinking that if i just put my foot down a bit in the easter break and like revise for the last term I could probably still enjoy myself and maybe get a high 2 one or maybe even get a first if I really, really wanted to. Uh, I'm not sure I do want to. I don't know if I want to put that pressure on myself. I don't know if I want to get a first this year uh, because then I'm setting up an expectation for my tutor. Like, this girl's got a first, clearly, you know, like, she's one to watch and then there'll just be more pressure in second and fourth year. So I'm like, do I really want that? I don't know. I am very torn at the moment. But yeah, general consensus is working at a high T1, she wants me to aim, she, she literally she was, she was like, I want to be seeing firsts on those reports next term. I want you to just set yourself tasks and push yourself and like, you will like, you like, you can do really, really well. Um, but the general consensus is, I think everybody's happy with me this term. I'm happy with the work that I've done this term. I have done a lot less work than I did at A level yet still going okay and that's probably just first year and it's probably just this term but all in all basically happy with my academic performance but don't feel like I've sold my soul at A level like I did you know what I mean like I feel like I've done as well as I could ever have hoped to do for how much work I'm doing yeah okay <laughs> so that's basically the academic side uh when it comes to actual difficulty of work I okay it's challenging but in an enjoyable way so the essay questions are challenging and they are hard and they are on things that we just don't know so like at a level you study a literature text for like a year uh whereas here like you study it for two weeks and by study you get a lecture on it and like you write the essay on it by your own reading and your own research your own opinions it's very independent I love that, kind of dig that in a way. Uh, it's been really, really challenging for me, like not having like textbooks or revision guides, just having to rely on your own thoughts a little bit. But I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, like, honestly, it's challenging, but it's, it's weird because it's kind of like what they gave you at A-level to really, really stretch you. It's kind of like that, but like the very end of that. So like the translations are really difficult and I do have to think about them and like, but you know, and it's weird as well because I have to remember that I have to do it in exam conditions. Like at the moment you do translations, you use like dictionaries and like online resources and you can research things. And that way like, yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, your translations are excellent. Well, yeah, obviously uh, like I can make them excellent if I want to because I've got the access to the internet. So it's like, mm, maybe I'll be saying something different when I get my first like essay exam condition um, one back, but that's fine uh so yeah to conclude with academics yeah i found the spanish texts relatively interesting i do not like the first one i do not like the third one we did but the second and the fourth one big thumbs up from me really enjoyed uh translation classes especially from spanish into english i found them so interesting about like how you can change the register the syntax idiomatic phrases like getting rhetorical devices all of that absolutely love that and will definitely be taking an advanced translation paper next year because I find it so interesting and I really want to push myself in the translation paper. Uh, German, really liked all four texts actually, not the first one as much but that's because I had the flu so I feel like I really wasn't paying attention. Uh, poetry, like a bit of poetry to be honest, uh, that's chill and yeah translation again I really like especially English into German translation, which I find really, really enjoyable, more so than German into English. Weird how that worked out, but yeah. Um, paper one for German, which is our sort of like, kind of an A-level paper where you have to do like a summary and you have to do like an essay or like an article and stuff like that. Very like reading comprehension A-level. Love those classes, love everything about that class. I think the, the topics are really interesting. I love the dynamic. That's definitely my favorite class. Uh, really, really like that one. Uh, yeah, academically, so I feel stretched, I feel challenged, I feel like I do have to work hard, but I am doing less work than A-level hours-wise, but that's because, like, there's less content than A-level, 
and also during term like the focus is on sort of just treading water so like just getting through the term and like getting all your work done and then after term is finished so like christmas holidays i have a lot of work that i want to do so I have a mock exam called a collection when I come back for Spanish. I don't have one for German and it was going to be on my birthday and they cancelled it. So I only have a Spanish mock exam and it's just on the literature. So basically over the break I do need to like revise the literature, get some quotes together and stuff like that. But yeah, so that is basically everything for academics. That was so waffly, I'm sorry, I really can't structure my thoughts. Yeah, the lectures vary from great to awful. I haven't been to all of them, I won't lie to you. Uh, but it is very independent. I've got literally right next to me a mahoosive bag filled with books that I'm going to read over the holidays. Uh, and I also have all of the texts for next term to read over the holidays uh, too. So lots to do. But yeah, general consensus is academically challenged but in a pleasant way. Fell out of my depth but again like in a way that's pushing me, not making me feel paralysed. Feel like I've managed to get enough work done that I'm doing really, really well for me and I'm really really happy with how I'm doing but also I've not pushed myself too far away from the social aspect and very much looking forward to next term still haven't decided if I am going to kick it up a gear and become a bit more of a nerd or if I do just want to enjoy myself and get like a solid 2-1 and like not worry about it so I will get back to you on that once I've decided what I'm going to do about my tutor's advice whether I'm going to be like okay I am going to push myself I am going to get first and I want to do that or I'm going to be like okay no I'm quite happy at where I am and like doing what I'm doing this year so that's basically the academics I think covered yeah so with regards to other things forget academics uh I I'm not gonna lie to you uh second week here was really difficult because of my flu I was just really down in that week uh I was really down in sixth week but that was just for hormonal reasons just literally just feeling down because of literally hormones in my body. Other than that, I can hand on heart say that I have literally had the best time the last eight weeks. Like I am actually in love with this place. And I just genuinely feel like this college, this uni was just, it just fits me well. It fits my style of just thinking and the people here are very much my sort of people. And yeah, so just before I go on and waffle about loads of different aspects, it's really really great here and I'm super happy and I really hope that that never changes because I have just spent this whole term so stimulated like so busy but so sociable and I've pushed myself and I feel like I've changed so much as a person but for, like for the better I've made new friends I've like challenged myself and I've done new things and like I'm so happy about that and I really think that this place is just the best for me and weirdly my mental health is better than it's ever been that might not last as exams get closer and pressures do start to mount but right now i am really really happy with where i'm at mentally and just in my life and yeah so that's a big thumbs up for me so freshers week here like it's quite nice because you have a mix of like day activities and sort of night activities i only went clubbing like three times i think but you didn't have to go clubbing at all they had mini golf ice skating pub quizzes whatever and it was very intense so the thing that the only thing i didn't like about this term uh was the idea that i came in on the first day and i didn't know who my friendship group were going to be and i don't like not knowing like who i'm going to be friends with but all i would say to that is like it does come and you look back at the end of term and you're like right yeah it all naturally just fell into place and you just have to roll with the punches and if you feel yourself drifting from people that's okay like it's gonna happen and it's not because they don't like you anymore or any less like you might just not see each other as much as you did in freshers week and stuff so i really enjoyed freshers week i found it really really busy and quite terrifying but after about three four days i was like okay yeah i really really i'm comfortable here and since then it's just felt more and more comfortable and like a home really like just somewhere that i really don't mind being and somewhere that i don't really want to leave like i'm staying for another two weeks for interviews to help out with interviews because i just love it so here here i love it here so much so yeah uh, it's really really welcoming with regards to LMH as a college, like, I honestly could not have asked for a better college. The food is great. Uh, I don't eat there all the time. I have eaten out a lot more than I probably should have. I've discovered the kebab shop Hussein's, which after a night out is just amazing. Um, LMH have been really, really good on just keeping people busy. Uh, they have a rabbit cafe. We have college rabbits, 
where you could like go and see them. Uh, we ha they have so many events. Like literally the other day, they had like carol singing in the quad. They had like a carol service. Um, they have talks by like amazing people um, and like there's just so much going on all the time. They have charity formals, uh, alpacas in welfare week, like they really do care about their students and just everybody here is just such a nice community and everybody's been so friendly as far as I know and yeah, I really don't have any negative words to say about LMH other than the fact that my room is literally a sauna and I really just can't cope with how warm my room is all the time. But other than that, literally nothing. Um, friendship wise, I am so blessed, as you will have seen in the vlogs, with literally the most angelic corridor of all time. I literally love everybody on my floor and I'm so sad that they're all gone and I'm here by myself. But yeah, I've definitely made friends for life in those girls and... I really just feel like this corridor is just so somewhere that I just want to be and it's just so nice to have somewhere to come back to at the end of the day where everybody is just so lovely and supportive and always there to listen and always there for a laugh and even friends like outside of college I've got friends outside of college as well and just loads of lovely friends within college and just everything about this college is just great I really can't fault it to be honest I'm trying to think of something that I haven't liked because I feel like that would be uh would be useful yeah so it's quite far like not far it's like a 10 minute walk from town but if you want to go to tesco like that's a pain but on the bright side that's meant that i can eat a lot more because i'm burning like 500 calories a day doing like average 10,000 steps a day and feeling a lot sort of fitter and got used to walking rather than driving everywhere which is really really nice um yeah the staff are all so friendly uh I really just like everybody that teaches me and everybody that I associate with in the college. I have got involved as a student ambassador, uh, which is really, really nice, uh, which is basically like promoting the college and doing access and outreach, which I'm really looking forward to. I did a Snapchat takeover on LMH Snapchat in fourth week, and I'm also doing one for the first half of the interview week, which should be really, really nice. Um, negatives, I would say. Oxford is a big fat bubble and I genuinely feel like I don't know what's going on outside of Oxford. I feel like I haven't lost touch with my friends outside of Oxford, but I feel like I can't fully engage with anything that's going on outside of Oxford. Even when I read the news, it just feels a bit like if it's not going on in Oxford, it's not really going on. And like when I see my other friends at university, I can't really like engage with what's going on and just sort of think outside of what is going on in LMH at this point in time right now. So yeah, that would be a negative, and the only other negative I can think of is YouTube, like, it's been really hard to keep YouTube up with Oxford, not because I'm working so much, but because there's just so many other things I want to be doing, like, getting sponsored videos in on time, and just making sure that I'm editing videos to a decent enough quality has been really a struggle, and just thinking about YouTube, it's just been at the back of my mind, and now I feel like my channel is kind of suffering as a consequence, but... Hopefully you've enjoyed the videos this this term. I know I've loved making the vlogs and you will be getting some more sit down videos like this properly edited and stuff as soon as I'm home from interview, uh, which will hopefully uh, all run nice and smoothly. But yeah, so those are probably everything about college. Uh, everything about college is just great. I genuinely think I wouldn't be as happy at any other college. I definitely made the right decision. I definitely fit this place like a glove. This glove, this place fits me like a glove. It's a beautiful relationship. I would not want to be anywhere else in any other uni. I literally want to stay here forever because it's just great. With regards to other things, so let's think about other things. So living independently, that's not really been an issue. I'm quite an independent person and I actually get on with my family really, really well, but like I can deal with not being at home for long periods of time, especially because here feels like a home away from home. I feel just as comfortable here as I do at home now and it feels so welcoming and I really don't, I haven't felt the urge to be at home. I felt the urge to see my family and things, but I really do like it here and I feel like going home is actually going to be quite difficult. Not because I don't want to see my family and spend some time at home, predominantly because I feel like I've changed a lot as a person, so I'm kind of like trying to fit back into a smaller box. I feel like I've kind of had all this independence and then it's kind of going back home and it's a bit like, oh, it's quite suffocating. Oxford is just so much bigger and like, there's just so much more freedom so I think that will be a real struggle but generally I would say yeah living independently has been fine I've managed to cook kind of not really eating the best but who cares uh and yeah really have enjoyed the sort of freedom 
and just sort of making that transition from being at home and dependent on your parents to being able to just like do things yourself which I really really like uh, so yeah, independence, all good in the hood. Clubs and societies, so I've joined the German society and I've been to quite a few German society events. I've been to a couple of media society events. I'm also working with Unique and with LMH on lots of access and outreach things and I'm pretty sure that, that that I want that to be my principal focus while I'm here is access and outreach because I'm really, really passionate about that. So that is kind of going to be my like main, like, extracurricular is working on access and promoting Oxford to people that might not necessarily have thought of it as an option for various reasons. Uh, I am going to hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, start writing for the chair well, which is the student newspaper next term. Uh, I didn't do it this term because I just wanted to get a bit of a feeler for what I wanted to do but I hopefully will be starting to write for them and really getting involved in student journalism because obviously if I want to be a journalist that needs to be what happens. I did apply for some work experience at Channel 4. I didn't get it because it was for people with no experience and they counted my YouTuber's experience, I think. Uh, whereas other work experiences won't count my YouTuber's experience and say that I don't have enough experience. So it is proving quite difficult to get work experience, but I am trying and yeah. So that is basically what is going on with extracurriculars. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I think I've covered everything, have I not? So in terms of goals for over Christmas and what I want to get out of next term, so really over Christmas, the number one priority for me is going to be uh, catching up on second week reading because when I had the flu, I obviously didn't do any work for about a week. So I have about 18 books, obviously not like the full books, but articles that I want to read. And I really just want to read around the text a bit more because during term time, you don't really have the chance to do that. I need to do all my reading for next term. I have collection exam for Spanish to revise for, obviously, and just a couple of tidbits, like an essay to write, a couple of translations. Uh, I'm only at home for three weeks, and obviously a week of that will be off for Christmas. So aim is to get all of my reading done in the next two weeks, and then have two weeks to do everything else. So it's quite a short vacation, but five weeks is literally going to feel like an eternity after living here for in such an intense environment with my friends for so long. Literally, I don't know how I'm really gonna cope without having that social aspect to my life anymore. I used to be so happy to just sit in my room for hours and watch Netflix, and now, after about 30 minutes of not having human contact, I'm a bit like, somebody talk to me, please. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is pretty much everything about my first term. I'm sorry this video has been so long, and I just wanted to ramble and get it off my chest so I can capture how I'm feeling uh, but all in all I've literally loved it and this place is just I feel like it's where I'm meant to be and I feel like it's where I've worked hard to be and where I kind of deserve to be because I feel like I just get I put so much on hold like for a lot of my life to work hard and to get in so I'm really glad that I'm enjoying it and I'm really proud of myself for getting to a place in my life where I can just enjoy academics and not have to worry about doing academics for the sake of getting passing an exam like I can this year I'm really just enjoying the process of writing essays and reading about text and researching things that I'm interested in and yeah all in all I have been down like and upset for probably about one percent of the time that I've been here which is natural and I'm so so grateful that that's been my experience because I know that not everybody has been lucky enough to have that but I am honestly head over heels in love with this place and the people and the college and just everything about it. And I really just don't want that to change. I really don't want Hillary, uh, like Hillary term next term. I don't want the update video for that to be like, it was awful. I can't believe I loved it so much in Michaelmas. I really hope it stays like this. And I hope that I feel this way about this place forever because it's just been such a dream of mine uh, since I was so young. And to actually be here and to be studying here and for it to be my home is just so insane. And yeah so i'm very very happy and yeah okay well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up uh comment down below how you've been finding uni or how you've been finding a levels or gcse's or year nine or wherever you are whatever you're doing let me know give me your own mini update i kind of want to know so yeah so i hope you enjoyed that video and as i said at the start of the video this video is sponsored by squarespace 
which is basically a platform that offers you the chance to develop your own website. It is home to loads of award winning and beautifully designed templates and the best thing about it is that it's an all-in-one platform so you don't ever need to download anything or install anything or upgrade anything and it's very very simple and easy to use and very transparent which I love. It's really easy to set up and it can be used for any type of website by any type of person so if you are interested be sure to click the link in my description or the link on screen now for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up Comment down below how your first term of university went um, and I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.